Hi, I'm Mindy Peters, the Solutions Manager at SPI. And in this video, I am going to talk about the biggest question we get from members of our Circle communities about posting things in Circle. And that's how do I embed videos into my Circle posts? Now, if you're not familiar with Circle, Circle is a great platform for hosting a community. And so we use it in two different communities at SPI. We have our SPI Pro community, which is a paid community of entrepreneurs who are somewhat advanced in their business. We help them meet up with each other. It's, it's We do a lot of networking in there as well as education. We help them establish mastermind groups. We hold educational events inside of the community. So we have it for our SPI Pro community, and then we also use Circle for our SPI Academy. Now, we recently decided to stop using groups on Facebook. We just decided that that wasn't what we wanted for our business anymore, and so we moved that community over to Circle. And if you are a member of any course, including the free Build Your Own Brand course, you can join the SPI Academy, and it's a place for you to talk to other business owners, other people who are either working on starting a business or are established in their business, ask questions, get advice. So that's how we're using Circle at SPI. I know other entrepreneurs who are using Circle to host public communities, and you can embed Circle into your website, you can embed it into other places such as Teachable. One of the questions that we get a lot from the members of our Circle communities is how do I embed videos into my posts? So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to embed videos from a variety of different video providers, and I'll show you where the limitations lie and what to do if your provider is not supported by Circle's video embed feature. If you're just looking for help with a specific provider, just check the progress bar below to find the provider you're looking for or check the show notes below. Let's get started. I have my circle post here, and I'm going to start with the easiest of all. Let's embed a YouTube video. So head on over to YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha There's my face. Click the share button here and hit copy. We are going to come back into the editor here, and there's two different ways we can do this. Number one, we can just click on this little play button here, and this is sort of the generic embed a video widget that uh, Circle has, and I could just paste that link right here. So I'll do that. And my video has been embedded. But there's also a YouTube-specific widget. If I wanted to access that instead, I'm going to hit the slash here. And when I hit that, it's going to open up a bunch of options. Just start typing the word YouTube. And when you do, you'll see this little embed option. I'm going to click on that. And this is just an embed box that's specific for YouTube. I'll paste my YouTube share URL in there and hit embed video. And look, I get exactly the same thing. All I have to do is hit post. And now I have a post that has two YouTube videos embedded in it. Next, we're going to embed a Wistia video. Here's my video in Wistia, and I will click on Embed and Share. And I am in the Share option. So we've got a bunch of different options here. I'm going to choose the Share option, which just gives me a simple link, just like in YouTube. Come back to my post. And again, I can use that video widget, or if I hit that slash and type Wistia, paste my link and hit embed. And you can see there's a nice little animated GIF at the start of my video with a Wistia video. Okay, let's do the next one. Next, we'll embed a Loom video. I'm in my Loom account. Now, I did this a few times and I found that it was just a tiny bit finicky. So there's a couple of things to take a look at. Number one, you want to make sure that your video is shared publicly. Your Loom video is shared publicly and you address that by hitting this little carrot here. So you hit the little carrot and that will open up the share your video button. And this is where you can set your privacy settings. Now for Circle, if you want to make sure that everybody can see it, you want to make sure that that is public. And you can hit copy your video link or in the share button, copy link. 
the length that you get here and the length that you get there is exactly the same. Now again, we've got a direct widget for Loom or you can use this generic video upload. I'm gonna hit slash and type in Loom, paste my link. I think you're probably seeing a pattern here. The embedding tool that Circle is using has a lot of widgets for individual video sharing platforms. If you wanna see which ones are available, hit that slash and type in video. And it's going to pull up the ones that are sort of custom built. As of the recording of this video, we've got Video Ass, Vimeo, Wistia, YouTube. Now you might notice that Loom wasn't included in this list. Let's see why. If I type Loom, they refer to Loom as a recording instead of a video. So it doesn't hurt to check for your platform. And if you wanna see which providers are supported, here's where to look. Circle is using the tool embed.ly for their embedding tool. And you can check the full list of providers at embed.ly slash providers. Just scroll down to find a provider and type in the platform that you're looking for. Let's take a look at one more custom video platform and then we'll start dealing with some of the problematic ones. This is Video Ask, and this is a really cool tool that I actually learned about from Circle's support community. Video Ask lets you pose a question in video form and then accept both text and video answers in response. It's really cool. So I've created a quick video here. I am going to click up here and go for preview to live mode. And I wanna get that URL. I've got that URL. And I will come back to my post here. Same as before, I'm just gonna hit slash video ask, post that in and check out this cool thing. When it embeds and video ask is a type form company. I'll hit post, check out this cool thing. Hi, it's Mindy from the solutions team checking in here. And I just have a question for you. What is your number one technical struggle with your business? Right I can now? ask my community a question. Hit the button and tell me your answer. And I can choose how I would like to respond. So let's say I want to respond with audio. Right in here, it gives me a recorder where I can record my response. I think that's pretty cool. So those are the easy ones. Now let's look at some of the more problematic platforms. And I'm being unfair, problematic isn't exactly right. Basically, these are platforms for which there is not a supported embedding feature. And so what do you do in that case? I've got a couple of options for you. Let's start with Google Photos. I use Google Photo for all of my videos. Here's a video of my cat in the snow and I want to embed that into Circle. I'm gonna hit create link. So I have my link from Google and let's open up the video sharing option here and just hit embed link. And what happens when I paste that link in? This is what we get. And this is what links look like in circle. If I hit post and we look at my post, you can see that this is not an embedded video. If I click on it, it will open up the video in a separate tab, which you know maybe isn't exactly what I'm looking for. The solution to that, if your video is not overly long, is to directly upload the video. So I will go back to Google Photos, click on these three buttons here and choose download. And now I can upload the video. Actually, let's upload it in the comments. That'll be fun. I will click on this video widget. And now I'm gonna choose the upload option. The limitation here is it needs to be an MP4 video and it's gonna take a little while to upload depending on your file size. So this is a great option for short videos like this. This is just a video of my cat frolicking in the snow. This is not an option for I wanna upload an hour long Zoom recording. I choose my video and you can see it's going to start to upload here. And it's gonna take a little while, like I said, Short videos, not hour long Zoom recordings. So what do we do with those hour long Zoom recordings? In this case, you wanna think about how is this video going to be used? And if I'm gonna sit down and watch an hour long Zoom recording, it's not really gonna matter if it is directly embedded in my circle post or if I had to click a link and it opens in another tab, I'm not gonna be able to sit and watch the video in Zoom and do things in circle at the same time anyway. So 
it doesn't really matter if it opens in another tab. And that is ultimately our solution for Dropbox videos, Zoom videos, Google Photo videos. You're just going to need to share a link and then when the user clicks on that link, it'll open in another tab. Let me show you with Dropbox and let me show you where to get those sharing links in Dropbox. All right, so here are your options with Dropbox. Now, if that Dropbox video is really short, if it's just a couple of minutes long, go ahead and upload it here. We're going to click the video embed button and you can upload the file. If your file is significantly longer, I have an example video that I'll show you. You'll want to use the Dropbox sharing link. You're just gonna drop that sharing link in here and Circle will turn it into a nice little link box. Here's where to get your Dropbox sharing link in several versions of Dropbox. So here I am on Dropbox on the web, two different places where you can get your sharing link here. This is the video I would like to use and it doesn't need to be checked. Number one, hover over the video you want to share. See this dot 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 here? That's your more button. Click on that and choose copy link. That gives you the link that you can drop in here. Just put in the link and hit enter and circle is going to turn that into a nice spiffy little formatted box. You can also click on the video and click on the share option here. This is where you can refine your link settings if you need to. Now, presumably you're sharing this in a group where lots of people not related to your organization will be looking at it. In that case, you want it to be anyone with this link can view. Hit copy link. There you've got the link. If you're a Mac user and you prefer to use the file viewer to look at your Dropbox folder, you can find the video you want to share, right click, and hit copy Dropbox link. That'll get you your sharing link. And finally, if you use the Dropbox widget to get the sharing link there, hover over the video here and you'll see that dot, 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 click on that and copy link. Once you've dropped your link in here, you'll hit post. And here's what it looks like. When you click on it, instead of the video playing in that view, it's going to open up in another tab. And you know what? That's okay, not everything has to be embedded. And again, if it was a really short video, you could just upload it directly using Circle's video widget. The limitation there is just the video must be an MP4. I hope this is helpful. We are big fans of Circle and they are coming out with fresh changes all the time. If you have any questions about working with Circle, post them below. If you're interested in using Circle for your own community, you can sign up for Circle using our affiliate link at smartpassiveincome.com slash circle. Or if you'd like to check out a community that's using Circle, you can join the SPI Academy. Sign up for any of our courses, including the free Build Your Own Brand course. The link is below. If you're already a member of one of our courses, but it's been a little while since you joined, just check your email for an invitation from the SPI Academy or reach out to us for help.